a true, true pioneer in the field of civil rights from New York City, Reverend Al Sharpton. Let me say that when I talked with the mother and grandfather last night, and I spent time just now with the father and mother, the only thing that they express is they want justice and fairness in the process of them losing their son. This is not a cause for them. This is their child. This is not some prop for politics. This is their child. And we are here from National Action Network committed long after these cameras are gone to help them pursue justice on the loss of their child. Secondly, no one has the right to take their child's name and drag it through the mud because you are angry. To become violent in Michael Brown's name is to betray the gentle giant that he was. Don't be so angry. Don't be so angry that you distort the image of who his mother and father told us he was. The story around this nation has been an unarmed young gentleman was taken from us on the weekend he was going to school. Some of us are making the story how mad we are rather than how promising he was. Don't be a traitor to Michael Brown in the name of you man. You may not like some of the politicians, some of the leadership, but don't diss them by disrespecting these parents. They are planning a funeral. They are trying to pick up the pieces for their life. So I'm asking everybody to respect them. When I got here this morning, I went and asked the parents, what do you want? You should have the same respect. It's do what they ask. Thirdly, we want the federal government to step in not only and partner, but become the ones that deal with this case. Because the local authorities have, I talked this morning, Anthony Saeed and some of the grassroots leaders, the people in the trenches, and the, the local authorities have put themselves in a position, hiding names, not being transparent, where people will not trust anything but an objective of investigation. Yeah. It is in the interest of everybody, it's in the interest of bringing the city together that you have a fair and objective investigation. We must find common ground, but you can only find common ground with facts on the table and without dealing with common facts. There's some very hard answers that's needed here. So we need some very real and clear people with no interest so that we end the mourning of these parents with justice and we move forward toward real solutions. We did not come to divide the city. We came to bring the city on one accord. But one accord means that we must have equal protection under the law. There are those that are saying peace, but they really just mean quiet. Because in order to establish peace, you must have fair justice for everyone. We want real peace. We don't want to just be told to shut up and suffer in silence. We must have answers and then use those answers to guide us toward peace. Tonight at 7 o'clock, there will be a gathering. Family and I will be there. We are trying to not 
add to the turmoil. We're trying to, through it all, get to justice. Please put justice and Michael as the priority. I know you're angry. I know that this is outrageous. When I saw that picture, it rose up in me an outrage. But we can't be more outraged than his mom and his daddy. We are not more angry than his mom and daddy. And if they can hold their heads with dignity, then we can hold our heads with dignity. And if you're angry, throw your arms up. If you want justice, throw your arms up. If you want answers, throw your arms up. Because that's the sign Michael was using. Running around digging up, trying to act like he had a gang sign. No, he had a surrender sign. That's the sign you got to deal with. Don't make up no sign. Deal with the last sign he shown. And we want answers why that sign was not respected. Thank you.